<laughs> hey everybody. I uh I just uh wanna make a quick video here. I've been laughing so I'm gonna spoil the um UFC from Saturday. If anybody hasn't seen it yet and you don't wanna know what happened, turn off the video now or skip ahead to like two minutes or something. I just watched the Ronda Rousey fight. And first of all, I thought it was hilarious that Kat Zingano was 9-0, and undefeated, and her Vegas odds were like minus 450 underdog. And then Ronda Rousey was just 10-0. and She only had one more win, but she's so much better when she does win and how she wins that they made her a huge favorite. And there's all this hype and all this coming out and everybody getting ready for shit and, you know, hyping up the fight. And it's over 14 seconds. <laughs> like, they, they interview kids and gone, Joe Rogan's up there and he's asking her, like, what's going through your mind right now or whatever? And she's like, fuck! <laughs> That's her whole answer. She's like, fuck, she fucking did it. I can't fucking believe it. Fuck! <laughs> That's it. She like, fuck. <laughs> Let me just play it for you. It's a fucking fuck. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I hope this the fucking part isn't copyrighted. I don't know. How do you copyright a sporting event? I understand movies have a script that has copy written for it that you can copyright it, and songs have lyrics that have been written down. That's copy. But a sporting event, there's no written things. Listen to this. And, and what your strategy was going into this fight? I want to do it again. I just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you came out very aggressive. <clears throat> you, you, you attacked, you grabbed a hold of her, you threw her to the ground, the position was reversed, you got your arm caught, she capitalized on it perfectly. When you watch it on the big screen, what's going through your mind? She had my arm and I saw her leg right there and I thought to grab it and hold it and all of a sudden I'm tapping. But it wasn't fucking, it was in, but it wasn't in, but it, oh, fuck. I want to do it again. It was in. She did it. She fucking won. She did it. She did good. That was a good armbar. She did it. Like at the top of the screen, they put this thing like, we apologize for any offensive language you may have heard. Oh, you mean all those fucks? Nah, we're not offended by those fucks. Fucking pay-per-view. We paid for this. We get what we paid for. Oh, shit, that was fucking hilarious. I mean, what do you say? 14 seconds, you just... Were you expecting it? Did she surprise you? Though? I don't know, it, didn't, it wasn't really long enough to say. It was 14 fucking seconds. <laughs> oh, and they hug each other before... They, they hug all of their corner people before they go in a fight because you could get killed, potentially, in a UFC fight. So you have to hug everyone in case it's the last time you see them. But then 14 seconds later, you're back. Hey, let's go get some hot wings. Who gives a shit? Anyway, this is basically just a video of saying that I'm going to be on stream tonight doing some Fallout New Vegas because reasons. And I also wanted to talk quickly about people that have those little stickers on the back of their car that has their whole family and stick figures, you know, and a little line of like who all does this and who's here and stuff. Cause I saw a weird one yesterday. Like, usually it's a lot of family members. Sometimes they'll put pets, but this one... It really seemed pretentious because it was the husband playing golf. They have to tell them every little detail of their lives and what they're into. The wife was riding a horse. The the son, Lucas, was riding a motorcycle. And then there was like a dead dog. Like a dog with wings and a halo. Unless it was like some kind of mythical chimera or Cerberus beast, the Pegasus dog or something. It was like their dead dog, and then there was like another dog, or maybe two dogs, two big dogs, and there were like three cats, and then three or four ducks. Like, what the fuck? It just seems really, the, the golfing and horse riding and motorcycle riding, it just seems like the really rich assholes. But then they also must have a farm, because they have a bunch of ducks and dogs everywhere, and cats. Those stupid stick figure things are really getting annoying. People need to fucking, fucking fuck! off with those things. Anyway, it seemed like there was something else I wanted to talk about. If I do remember it, I'll talk about it on the stream, so I'll be on Twitch.